Throughout the book, the audience and the characters learn to hate Mr. Hyde for his actions and his rigid and hostile personality. Early on in the play, Hyde tramples the little girl on the street without any motivation other than the fact that he finds it fun. <laughs> As you can see, Hyde clearly enjoys doing his random acts of pure evil. A little later, Rod starts to decide to try and find Hyde at his door. If he shall be Mr. Hyde, I shall be Mr. Seek. Mr. Hyde, I think. Yes, that is my name. What do you want? Will you let me see your face? We are aware that Hyde has animalistic features and he has regressed in evolution rather than progressed from the reaction of a hissing intake of breath. The hissing shows his animalistic reactions, being like a snake or the deadly animal that is very protective of itself. His commanding statement of what do you want presents the theme of power shown by Hyde throughout the novella. This theme of power is further shown when Hyde meets with Sir Danvers Carew. Ah, here we go again. FATALITY! And next moment, with ape-like fury, he was trampling his victim underfoot and hailing down a storm of blows, under which the bones were audibly shattered. Near the end of the play, during the Jekyll's full statement chapter, Jekyll describes the change of power with Hyde. There was something strange in my sensations, something indescribably new, and, from its very novelty, incredibly sweet. I felt younger, lighter, happier in body. At the first breath of this new life, be more wicked, tenfold more wicked, sold a slave to my original evil. I had but the time to gain the shelter of my cabinet before I was once again raging and freezing with the passions of Hyde. It took on this occasion a double dose to recall me to myself. This shows how Jekyll clearly loses control of changing into Hyde because at the start he describes it as being incredibly sweet and ends with raging and freezing where he can't control it anymore. Incredibly sweet. Shut up! <laughs>